Okay, so this video uh, focuses on factorizing quadratics. Okay, this is your type four, your fourth type of factorizing. Now, when we're talking about quadratics, obviously a quadratic is anything that has an x squared term. But for this type, we're specifically talking about quadratics that have the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where the a, b, and c are numbers. So something x squared plus something x plus something. So this general form is called a quadratic trinomial because uh, it usually has three terms, okay? So it's this trinomial uh, type of quadratic that we're dealing with here in the fourth type of factorizing. So you can get some easier quadratics and some harder quadratics, okay? But I'm going to teach you one method for all. And then when we look at the easier ones, we're going to see a way that we're going to be able to speed it up. Uh, but for the harder ones, then at least this method will work for you every time. Just like before, we're going to just do a little recap first, okay? Just to see what we're trying to do here. So we're kind of going to work backwards with something we've dealt with before. So let's say we have x plus 1 in one bracket and x plus 4 in the other. Okay, if we were asked to multiply this out, these double brackets, we'd take the first term multiplied by the second bracket, x plus 4, take the second term plus 1 multiplied by the second bracket, x plus 4. And we'd get x by x is x squared, x by 4 is 4x, 1 by x is x, and 1 by 4 is 4. And then we'd get to this bit and we'd try and tidy up so we could add together the terms that are the same. So we have the two x terms in the middle are the only terms that are alike, so we can add them together. And we end up with x squared plus 5x plus 4. Okay, so again, for factorizing, we're trying to go from this result back to this one. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to look to do. So, as I said, we're going to do a four-step method here for this. <clears throat> So I'm going to use this very example, and I'm going to show you how we do it. So, x squared plus 5x plus 4. Your first step is to multiply the first number by the last number. Now, the first number, I'm talking about the first term, by the way, um, it doesn't look like there's a number here. But, of course, if you have an x squared on its own, it implies there is a 1 in front of it. It's a 1x squared. Because if it was 2x squared, the 2 would definitely be there. And if it was 5x squared, the 5 would be there. If it's just x squared on its own, it's just 1. There's 1x one squared. So that's the first number I'm talking about here, okay? If it's just x squared you have, the number is 1. And the last number is 4. So the first step is 1 times 4, which is, of course, 4. Okay, so step two is to take this number and we're going to get factors of this number. So get factors of this, which add or subtract to make middle term. The middle term is this 5x. In other words, it's a plus 5 is what we're interested in really here. So factors of 4. Well, factors of 4, what times what makes 4? Well, 2 times 2 makes 4, or 4 times 1. Okay? So here, the ones that we'll add or subtract to make the 5, which is the middle term we're looking for, is going to be the 4 and the 1. Now, consider the signs at this point. What signs would they have to be to make the sign we need. So we need a plus 5 here for the middle term. So this would need to be a plus 4 and a plus So four. it's really important in this step to consider signs. Okay? So make sure you put your signs in there to make the plus 5. It's easy enough in this one. They all have to be positive. Okay, and so in step three, we're going to rewrite our quadratic. And our quadratic in this case is x squared plus 5x plus 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it. Instead of the middle term 5x, we're going to write it as a 
plus 4x plus 1x, which is, of course, the same thing, but it's going to help us factorize this quadratic uh, for our final step. So rewrite the quadratic. OK, so in other words, using the factors that you've considered in step two uh, to break apart the middle term. So um, if you remember back to our original example back up here, this is where we're, we're getting from this last step now to this step. You see, breaking up the 5x into 4x plus 1x. OK, so back down here then. What we do when we rewrite our quadratic is we can move on to step four, which is now factorizing. Just as you would your grouped common terms when you have four terms, it's your grouped four, your grouped common terms type of factorizing. So, so taking your x squared plus 4x plus x plus 4, splitting it, looking at the first two terms, common to both is x. And what you would need to multiply back again to get x squared, of course, is x times x. x squared plus 4 times x will give you the 4x. Common to x plus 4 over here, well, nothing is really looking like it's common at all to both x plus 4. And if that is the case, what you can always pull out is a 1. 1 is always common to everything. So again, leave that sign till the end. And what we'll do is... We will open up our bracket. We know it's got to be the same here, x plus 4. And of course, what will work? It's all positive, so this one's quite easy. Plus 1 times x is 1x, and plus 1 times 4 is, of course, 4. So just like with your factorizing grouped common terms, what has been split up is always the first bracket, so your x plus 1, and the repeated bracket is always the second bracket. And of course, that is your final answer. That's exactly where we were trying to get x plus 1 times x plus 4 multiplied out. Your first step multiplying them out will give you that. The next step multiplying out would give you that. And the final step then when you would tidy everything up together would give you, of course, the x squared plus 5x plus 4 that you had at the start. So the final answer is x plus 1 in one bracket, x plus 4 in the other.